I was going to buy a bike when I was in college and my mom had a fit. She flipped out and basically said, if I bought a bike in college, I was excommunicated. Like, she would never talk to me again, never help me with anything. This is Joshua Tree. That's Scott from Cleveland Cycle Works. Welcome to Ride Apart. I, I, I just spent all day riding a bull 250. Talk to me about that. You had fun. I had fun. I had fun. It, it doesn't make any horsepower. Um, it doesn't have flashy graphics. No. You There's can't a, do a burnout on it. I can't do a burnout on it. You can't do a burnout on it. Mostly because I'm a He can. I well, can, but well, you can Well, well, I'm special. <laughs> yes. You're special. That's yeah, true. Yes, yes. I'm a special person. I'm from the Midwest, I'm from Cleveland, and distinctly, Cleveland's a working class sort of city. You, know, you don't have people that are trying to uh, prove to people that they make a million dollars a year. There's people that just legitimately want to ride a cool bike that they can afford. And for that sort of person, our bike makes sense. You know, it's not a, it's not a OCC sort of bike, um, but it's a, it's a cool bike you could you can be proud to ride. The whole idea is someone that's buying our bikes, they can work on it. You know, we, we have manuals on how to adjust the valves. Um, it's a very simple motor. You know, a uh, four valve overhead cam, you know, dual overhead cam, you can't touch it. You have to take it to a dealer. The overhead valve motor, if you need to adjust the valves, you can do it in the bike. You know, the idea behind what we're trying to do is you're riding, you need to do a little bit of maintenance, you can do it yourself. You can adjust the chain, adjust the valves. It's, uh, it's a whole concept. It's different than what's been going on in the motorcycle industry. You know, it's like I went to school to change the world but you can only change the door handle. And it, I'm using the door handle as a, a metaphor for everything that's wrong with the whole car industry. Yeah, I yeah, mean, you're absolutely right. I did this, uh, I did this conference once in uh, Pittsburgh with JT, the back and we had done the, uh, you right? The guy who spoke before us designed the door handle on the Ford, uh, in the new Ford Mustang. And his entire lecture was about his job as a designer Ford, and now he designed the door handle for the new Ford Mustang. And we basically got up there and we'd been drinking the entire time. <laughs> so we sat there with a bottle of whiskey and we were like, shoo! Glad to not be hearing about that guy anymore because that sounds terrible. We looked at what you needed to make a legitimate bike in the US. And what you need is you need to be able to do short jaunts on the highway any of those situations where you really want to power past the cars. As we progress, the whole idea behind the company is to make riding accessible to more people. And now let's talk about that progression. Where do you see yourself? More importantly, where do you see CCW going as its models develop? Uh, you know, we're always going to be a value-driven company. So uh, you'll never see us trying to be Indian or Harley Davidson. For, for me, that, that's been done, and it's... You know, if you look like Excelsior Henderson, or there's been so many companies that have tried to be Harley Davidson and failed. Because Harley's Harley, they're here. They exist, and there's no need for another company to become Harley Davidson. People are always gonna buy Harley because it is Harley. So for me as an American uh, company, trying to become that, it, it, has, it has no value. hard time with the uh, the lack of suspension. I'm, I'm bitching because I, I, I bitch, but 
I, I, my, my ass is not sore. Uh, the, the bike handled great. Um, it was great in corners. I didn't. It, it, I rode a Victory Judge, which is like a eighteen thousand dollar, eighteen hundred cc ridiculous chopper. Oh, uh, two uh, weeks ago, this has more ground clearance, better handling, better brakes, a better engine. It's it's a little less shiny. I I feel like my penis is a little bit smaller when I ride it. It is. But yeah. Okay. Well, so the the whole idea behind the heist, which is the bike that you rode, is. It basically gives you the, the presence of a much bigger bike for a lot less money. So, uh, you know, if, if you go to a bike night, you know, Cleveland, we have a Quaker Steak and Lube. That's a big bike night. You could find 1,500, 2,000 bikes on a, on a nice night. You take this bike to a, a Quaker Steak and, and you go on a, you know, you, you go to a bike night and it's basically, people have no idea what it is. They think it's a, a eight, maybe $10,000 old Harley. With the proportions, the engine doesn't look small in the frame. It, it looks like a nice, big, chunky engine. And you, you park that thing, and it, 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 just, it, it, it legitimately does look like a badass motorcycle. Well, you know, here, here's the thing. So, uh, you know, the bike is physically, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit bigger than a Harley Sportster. It's not a, a big, stretched out, custom, it's a bike that's proportioned very well to the rider. Um, you're a big guy. How, t how big are you? I'm six foot two. So you're six two. I don't, I don't feel out of place on it. I feel it's actually, it's actually comfortable and natural. Um, there's not a huge reach to the bars. There's not the seat. The seat is comfortable. There's not a huge reach to the pegs. You're on the kind of upper echelon of someone that would ride that bike. You know, six foot two is pretty. You're pretty big for for what that bike is. But um, you know, the, the whole idea is it's it's an affordable bike. It kind of has the presence of a much more expensive bike, um, and you know the, the way we get there is by using that 250 motor. So um, you know the, the 250 is what really makes it affordable. We basically took a very simple motor. It's uh, overhead valve. It has rockers. It's easy to work on, and uh, it it has a lot of torque. In my company, design is the number one. It's 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 the most important thing. You know our bikes are inexpensive, but people desire them. It's entry level, quote unquote entry level, but it doesn't look entry level. There's a difference. Through design, it's appealing. You know, it's, it, it, it's a whole different concept. You know, the US was built on people dreaming and that's lost. You know, it's lost, especially when I have 98% of the people I'm telling I'm gonna start a motorcycle company, 98% of those people telling me it's impossible. This is America, nothing is impossible, you know? No, I mean, really, nothing's impossible. So, you know, that's, I, I was so happy. And it took me to get fired from a comfortable job to be able to have the balls to do this.